Hi, Robert Tonner here. I don't often get asked to do commercials, but uh, uh, I made an exception for this product. Uh, Dolls Parts asked me to talk about their doll hair care system for doll restoration. And uh, for this product, I'm more than happy to do it. Okay, I'm using um, Styler and Conditioner by Heads Up and the Shampoo by Heads Up. Um, they're a doll hair care system, and uh, they're all available for purchase at Dolls Parts. Um, unbelievable product. Um, shampoo's great, but the style and conditioner is a game changer. Today, I'm going to revitalize this kind of beat up Revlon doll. But the worst part is her hair. And I'm going to show you uh, how I go about uh, taking something like this and turning it into something that looks like it's almost new. I won't make you sit through this part real time. Um, the, what I'm doing now is obviously washing the doll. Um, I, I scrub her and uh, when, when the body and the face is clean, and yes, I do use Barkeeper's Friend, um, but test your vinyl first before you use something like that. Um, then I go to the um, hair and I wash it uh, once, if not twice, with um, the doll's part shampoo. Okay, here she is, all cleaned up. And I think she looks pretty darn good. I, I did um, two shampoos of her hair. It was really a mess, you know? And it takes all, it takes all, that'll take all the dirt out and some of the oil, which is not a good thing. But we put all that back in with the most amazing product. This, this is the best. Heads up, the Styler Conditioner. Absolutely the best for this. Okay, I took about a teaspoon of the conditioner and I worked it through the hair. Make sure that you work it from the, from the top, from the scalp, all the way through the curls. Don't be afraid of using, I mean, you can use a little bit more than you think you can. Um, it shouldn't be greasy, but you can feel it's, it's softer. And now on to combing. <clears throat> okay, here she is uh, with her hair all combed. Now, you know, the goal of combing out her hair like this is to comb out her hair um, but it's also to get all the tangles out because you want to get every single tangle out and I think you can see in the light that uh, her hair has already got the sheen to it that it didn't have before um, the bangs are kind of sticking up uh, that's fixable with a little bit of work and there there you have it it's like uh, so it's already got a luster that it didn't have before so Anyway, um, what we do next is um, set it. Okay, so here she is with her hair set. Now, um, it's it, like I said, it's it's um, uh, end papers, perm rods, smallest ones you can get, and I use a straight pin, like a heavy duty straight pin, to hold the uh, uh, the rollers in her hair, I go right into the vinyl. So that way they stay where you want them to stay. Um, and I'm going to try to fix the bangs. I have a bobby pin on there and we'll see what happens. But you can tell her hair is already looking shiny. So there you go. Now we let her sit until tomorrow. That's one step you can't rush. You have to let it air dry for at least overnight. Um, and make sure it's dry when you take it down. So now I'm going to try to shoot this all in one thing, in one take. I hope it works. I don't want to have to reset her hair. Anyway, um, it's, it's, a, it's a day later and uh, you, the hair is all dry. And you can, see what, you can see how shiny and like new it is. It, it just looks wonderful. See how shiny that is? I'll speed up this part. As you can see what's happening, I'm taking down the, the uh, perm rods. Um, taking the straight pins out and I'll remove the rods from the hair and I'll leave the curls intact. I won't comb them out or anything. Uh, that's kind of important for, for restyling hair like this. What, what you're going to need here is comb, of course. Um, you're going to need I, uh, um, these style pins and they're, they're bobby pins, but they're a little, they're shorter than a normal one. This is a normal size bobby pin, which I also use. But um, they're much better for the scale. And then, of course, 
uh, hairpins. I'm running low on these hairpins. Uh, but uh, hairpins are very important for a 50 style um, hairdo. Uh, a quick interruption here. Uh, it turns out that Doll's part, uh, in, in addition to the incredible um, cleaning products, they also have this, which is, uh, I found out after I filmed this, so I'm inserting this, but they have hair nets, bobby pins, and uh, hair pins, all for the right scale, in a multitude of colors. Uh, unbelievable, doll's parts. And then I have a, try to get as close to the color of the hair as possible, but a hair net. And again, <clears throat> hair nets are very important for the 50s hairdos. So let's get started. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna comb down the back crown. Now I just told you not to comb out the hair, but it only gets combed out to about the where the head starts to go in. The, the nape? No, I don't think that's the nape. But anyway, a little bit, bit more than halfway down and secure it. You get a nice smooth top. Let me make sure that that's smooth enough. You get a perfect top. Hold that down. And then one of the larger bobby pins secure it right above your thumb there secure. and then you have that and it's going to stay and because because this this hair was set under it's nice and smooth you know it it, it, it forms to the head now i'm going to use another larger bobby pin running out of them here we go and comb this down and leave the, the curled hair in the front alone for the time being. Now you're not going to be able to see this, but I'll turn it around. And there you go. So you've got a, a great base to work this on. Now, and you see that the hair, and I won't be, I, I won't touch this until the end. And you've already got a curl, a nice curl, right? So now what I do is I take this, Revlon style, we're very particular. The sides go back. Now let's take a look at her before. The sides get swept back, combed back. Uh, whoops. I need one more pair of hands here. Um, So, comb this, smooth it out, comb it back, and then pin it. It gets pinned. Make sure you don't get the bangs in there. It gets pinned right above the ear, right behind the ear, at the top of the ear, one of those. <laughs> this is where that other hand would come other set of hands will come in handy. Okay, so I've got it, and secure it with the bobby pin. Now see, you get a nice clean shape there. Other side, same thing. I usually hold these in my lap when I'm doing this, so it's a little more secure. I don't know if you can see this. Oh, she's slipping and sliding. Um, I'm doing the same thing. Holding that back, grabbing a bobby pin. These are the smaller ones. And securing it right behind above and behind the ear. So, uh, I think she's going to look really good. So, how do I, what do I do from here? That's, that would be my question on this, but here's what we're going to do.
the very next step is the hairnet. Now I buy hairnets that are made for small hairnets that are made for buns, I guess. And they're done, uh, you can buy them on, uh, online on a, at a um, uh, hair supply, hair a beauty supply store website. There are quite a few of them. So this goes over like this. I kind of gauge how much net I'm going to need, and then I just re knot it. Definitely not an exact science. And then you can just, you just trim off the excess. Like that. Now we're to the front. Uh, gather up the curls in the net and just pull them forward. And that's where the handy dandy bobby uh, um, hairpins come in. As a kid, I always wondered what those hairpins were for, but it, it kind of does an amazing job of this. Other side, same thing. Make sure you got all the curls under in the hairnet. Pull the curls that you've, whoops, that's a little messy. Pull the curls forward. See so you, and you haven't combed out the curls. So that's why you've, you've still got beautiful curls in there. Comb the hair and kind of secure it. And if you, you look at it, you've, you've got a beautiful hairdo. I'm going to um, add a couple more. You, know, you want to hide the hairnet and you want to hide the back bobby pins. And you do that by, again, the handy dandy. You pull up a little hair and then just secure it with the pin, stick it in, and it's good. I think we can get one more in here. Whoops. Now, I notice it's a little flat looking here, so I can just pull curl out. Ah. Pull one of those curl, those beautiful curls out. Get it back into the net. And you have another curl. Um, if you need to add pins, bobby pins or hair pins. Looks like we need a bobby pin here. Now you have curls on both sides. Beautiful curls in the back. Okay, here we are with the finished hairdo, the finished doll. I will work on the bangs, but I think that uh, she actually looks pretty, pretty good. Hair pulled back, beautiful curls, beautiful shiny crown. And, you know, I think uh, these, these, uh, 50s, 60s dolls with this incredible saran hair that they still make on some dolls, but uh, it's hard to find, uh, to just really restores. This, this, this hair is like over 60 years old and it still looks great. Um, and the doll does too. I added a little blush. That's another video. Uh, and uh, here we have a, a really nice restored doll that, that could look almost new. Um, thanks to the, the wonder of the ideal dolls and the products I'm able to use now, thanks to dolls parts. And the shampoo certainly does work on other dolls besides uh, Revlon. Here are two Tonys, um, Giggles from Ideal, and last but not least, a gorgeous Patty Play Pal from Ideal, all with dolls parts shampoo.